In the previous video, the creation and execution of a process were covered. In this tutorial, we will cover how you can monitor and configure Win Automation in general. The Logs tab stores the log file of each executed process. Log files enable you to view the full details of all the events taking place in a process. Event types are grouped into three categories info, warning, or error. Within the tab, you can select which type of event to display, or set to view log files within a specific data range, and the option to select which type to show is also provided. You can set the date range for the events shown, having the option to view even a custom date range. On the left-hand side of the Logs tab, you can select which logs you wish to display by checking the corresponding checkbox. You can select a particular process, a folder with processes, or the server, which contains the general Win Automation server logs. Having selected a particular log, you can see the message of the event as well as the additional details in the Details pane. Win Automation also provides an option you can enable so that in the Logs tab, next to an erroneous event for a process, you can click and view the screenshot at the time of the error. Lastly, you can click the Archive button and save the logs from a time frame you specify as a DAT file. In the last tab of the Win Automation console, you can configure all the options related to Win Automation. Starting from the top, the Settings tab is where you can control the general, miscellaneous, and notification settings. In the Processes File tab, you can see the file path to your database file, which contains all your developed processes as well as options to compact, backup, and restore your processes database. Win Automation includes an amazing feature that enables you to turn the developed processes into actual applications and run them on Windows workstations that don't even have Win Automation installed. We will refer to these applications from here on as executables. You are able to license the executables you create by making use of tokens. Tokens are the number of computers on which the executable is allowed to run. The tokens you have available to use is something determined by the type of license you have for the Win Automation application. Should you need more tokens, additional ones can be purchased from Softomotive. In the EXE tab of Softomotive, you can set the compilation ID that will be used for the executables you create. In the FTP tab, you can set the way that different types of files will be treated in FTP related actions. On the last tab in Settings, Authentication, you will be prompted to provide the password of the Windows user who is currently connected. Having done so, you can enable processes initiated by a trigger or schedule to run even when the workstation is locked or logged off. Win Automation's Auto Login feature will log into the machine on behalf of the selected user and execute the process. In the Licensing tab, you can find all the information regarding your Win Automation license. From here, you can change or remove your license key by clicking the Change License Key and Deregister Machine buttons. Deregistering a license means that you are free to use your license key on another computer. In the Error Handling tab, you can set rules regarding what Win Automation should do in case an error occurs in one of your processes. In this tab, you can also configure all necessary settings for Win Automation to send an email when an error occurs. The error handling options will be addressed in a later video of this series. In the Add-ons tab, you can install a custom set of actions related to a specific task or service that can be imported into Win Automation to extend its capabilities. At the top of the Options tab, you will find the About and Help buttons. By clicking About, you can get information about the version of Win Automation that you are running. And by clicking Help, you can get access to the manual, which is a great resource to assist you while using the tool. If you look in the bottom section of the console, you will see the Details button. If pressed, it launches the Status Monitor window. In the Status Monitor window, you can see all the processes that are currently being executed and those that are queued to run. You are able to stop the selected process or all the processes that are currently running or queued. Thank you for watching.